morning ring friends this is rahul sharma from chicago a vedic practitioner in today's uh, my weekly series for the vedic framework of personal professional and business success i am going to be again taking a book from my guru dev pandit shri ram sharma acharya mata bhagavati devi sharma the karmakand bhaskar and their wang my number 33 shoda sanskar vivechan today my video series is number 20th and i will be discussing more about the namkaran ceremony or naming ceremony rituals what does it mean and what is the significance and how this connect with your personal success okay now the naam karan sanskar or naming convention is one of the most important sanskar because if you have read the book of del carnegie how to win friends and influence people what he mentioned in the book is it is uh, the sound of your own name is the most important and most lovable sound anybody want to hear and you can keep talking people with their with their name thousand times in a day they will still love it love to hear it so we have to be very careful that we have a meaningful and the auspicious name uh, which influence their personality and the life life path that is the main intent of the naming uh, ceremony and uh, if there is no name uh, people will not have any goal about their life path so it should definitely be very well thought by the parents and the family member to understand that it is always believed that child's destiny and is help in the overall development because everybody would work to fulfill the expectation of others from from their name you want to make your name many popular okay so that's the reason in the early days people will use the name of some uh, mahatmas some uh, you know past historical uh, heroes or these days you know some popular uh, filmy heroes and heroine they use uh, their name but we need to be very careful that how their character is and are they really worth following in the life it's very important to under know that every human soul is hungry for recognition for their emotional and psychological growth and recognition again goes with the name people look forward to hear their name in terms of positive uh, recognition so name is has everything to really understand about what, how and they should be called about now let's talk about in terms of the vedic culture in vedic culture and what are the different ritual and uh, what are the meaning of those rituals which connect with the personal uh, growth and success in vedic culture it is recommended to have the namkaran or naming ceremony on 11th or 12th day after the birth in usa and some other uh, countries normally the name has to be announced before uh, the child is born because uh, you cannot take child away from the hospital unless the name is being registered there so either way the name has to be thought very carefully and you need to follow the ceremony and i will explain the purpose of every single ceremony there in vedic culture when we do this uh, naming ceremony or namkaran we do multiple uh, step there are four or five steps included i'm going to explain you meaning of each one of them first of them is the uh, mekla bandhan mekla bandhan is nothing but tying a, a thread or kalava or moli around the waist of the uh, child uh, just like you are having a uniform belt for army or police and the way they feel always alert when they are in their uniform and active and they have a sense of responsibility to protect the society the mekla bandhan represents the same thing now while child is young 11th day or 12th day he has no idea what you are doing on him you might video record it but as a parent and as a um, uh, grandparent it's your responsibility to remind him or her about this meaning throughout the life span okay you can watch the video together on the birthday but make sure that you getting reminded that you know this is what you need to do and many people have a golden chain around their waist they can have black thread in around their waist or whatever is there main purpose significance is to make sure they are always alert they are not lazy they are always hard working and they really have a sense of responsibility to protect and help the society that's the mekla bandhan the other uh, ritual what we do is the madhu prashan so nothing but you take uh, a silver spoon or silver um, uh, needle and uh, dip in the honey and taste the honey to the child again child will definitely love the sweetness of the taste but the honey being sweet is have significance that we need to teach and set up an example of a sweet voice or soft spoken voice 
you never need to raise your voice your tone should be uh, you know very very good people love to hear from you and uh, it should not show any aggression in your voice that's the whole purpose of madhu prashan or tasting honey your voice or your words should never hurt other person that's the meaning of madhu prashan so make sure that you are again teaching when child is keep growing uh, out of his birthday or any other uh, occasion you to remind him then we do the mantra diksha either the guru or the pandit or the parent they speak the gayatri mantra in the ear of the uh, boy or doesn't need to be you know very uh, softly spoken in the ear you can chant mantra so it goes into his ear idea is to put a practice so child from the beginning can learn the vedic uh, culture of gayatri mantra of seeking the righteous thought or positive thoughts throughout his life and he must repeat this kind of recitation or this kind of prayer in his daily life that's the foundation we are going to put into uh, child's on 11th day of his uh, birth that's the mantra diksha okay all the good words all the vedic mantra for gayatri mantra should go into his habit in you know, a daily habit and then we do the surya darshan until that time uh, sun is uh, or the child is never get exposed to the outer environment uh, to the sun but now this is the time during naming ceremony that we expose the child uh, to the sun okay should be very careful to protect his eyes don't expose into the very bright sun but early morning rising sun when the intensity is not that bright you finish this ceremony and uh, the, the the parent or father raise the child in his hands to the sun surya the whole purpose again is to understand the uh, sun's continuity sun is very disciplined it sun rise on a perfect timing sun set on the perfect timing is continuously um, you know giving the energy inspiration motivation power to the society giving the life to all the plant all the um, you know insects all the animals and is the biggest uh, motivational power um, child should also become the brilliant and the powerful like sun so that's the inspiration force we need to have and that's for the purpose of the surya namaskar also which i will explain in another video but during naming ceremony this is the first beginning when child should be exposed to the benefit of the sun and following the sun's life cycle and sun's uh, benefit of it next uh, ritual in naming ceremony is the prathi pujan mother earth without mother earth we would not have anything neither food nor uh, shelter not clothing not even this puja ceremony so mother earth what lessons we need to learn we need to understand thanking mother for all the food or clothing and shelter mother earth is providing just like mother earth is also continually evolving on its axis we need to be continuously working uh, restlessly uh, for our goals for our life dream and to make the society better and just like mother earth is forgive uh, have a forgive nature okay no matter how dirty we make to this earth earth is never going to stop uh, giving us the uh plants and trees and and food to eat same thing we can come across with other people who will make mistake and they may annoy us but we need to love them unconditionally we never need to have a anger feeling for them or uh, things like that so that's prati pujan then we do the pratyarvartan pratyarvartan is nothing but exchanging hands so baby in in your hands is uh, moved from mother's hand to father's hand to all the grand parents available there then all the cousins available there brothers and sister and any respective member of society who are available uh, during the naming ceremony including guru and guru pandit and then finally back to the mother what does it mean that even though the the child is born from the mother's womb Uh, but as a society we all are equally accountable equally responsible to create a positive encouraging and loving environment for the child's growth so as a society there's a biggest need we all need to be uh, taking care of that okay in our neighborhood or wherever you are in your family members provide them that kind of encouraging environment then finally we announce the name so name a good name should definitely be announced with lot of uh, shank ghadial uh, music drum whatever you want to call it because name is most important thing for any any person any human soul even for the animals you know when you you call the dog or cat by a name then they will respond to that so we normally decorate it nicely on a tv screen or other media or on a decorative uh, thali or something but you display and announce the name the pandit the priest will announce the name what you have done that 
In a ritual, it is also believed that uh, it should have a Nam Rashi, but Gurudev has very clearly made clear in his book, it's not needed. So whatever name has more meaningful name, which your child will strive to achieve the significance of that name. For example, Mahatma Gandhi, he really played an important role in the freedom. And if you put the same name to the child, the child will make sure that he stand up to that kind of expectation of, of that. So you, you think about that. If you want to make somebody like a cricketer, like Dhani or um, Sachin Tendulkar, you're putting that name, then you should be inspiring him with their stories of success and struggle, how they become successful. So that's the pronouncement of the name. Then finally, we take the child to the outside world and we give exposure to the biggest universe you call is the like you, you, you show him the, the sky, you show him the different stars, and this is what we are going to give him the exposure of the outer world. Okay, you need to definitely expose them rather than keeping him within the house and he, he or she doesn't know what's happening outside. You need to definitely give him more and more exposure to of the outside world. Take him to travel in multiple cities, multiple countries, so he or she can get exposed to the world. So now this is about all the naming conventions. So what are your action items? Definitely understand and remember the true significance of all the rituals. Since um, child doesn't understand anything, but you need to be careful as a parent, as a family member to have a thoughtful, meaningful, inspiring name, which can give a pride to the uh, child and own your responsibility to teach repeatedly about the discipline, the honesty, the hardworking, the soft spoken nature, taking care of the health, the brilliance of sun, forgiveness of the earth, and uh, exposure to the world as performing each ritual. So you have to constantly remind that. The ceremony will just finish in a few, few hours or so, but after that you have to remind him. And after uh, the ceremony, whenever the child is growing, always make sure that you are using the child name as often as possible and don't try to give him a, a nickname which has no meaning okay like chotu or something it doesn't make any sense use his his name which he will love the most okay and as i mentioned to you to understand the the power of the name and the sound of the name you definitely read the book how to win friends and influence people by dale carnegie so you will understand that with this uh, i'm done for the day be a vedic practitioner learn adopt and practice the secret of success uh, stay successful and happy and help others making this world in heaven. And don't forget to watch my next video next weekend. Thank you.